I'm going to show you, hang on, before we start, I've just been told a joke by one of my pupils. What do you call people who like maths? Algebra. <laughs> so all of you guys from now on are my algebras. <laughs> right, that was a bit cringe, I know. Disclaimer, I'm not really that cringe in real life. Now I want to actually show you guys um, something. So let's start off with zero is equal to zero. You will agree that's a fact. Zero is equal to zero. I'm going to rewrite this part. So I'm going to have 20 minus 20 is equal to 25 minus 25. That's zero. That's zero. I'm going to rewrite 20 as four times five. You will, you will all agree that four times five is 20. And therefore this is also going to be written as four times five because that's also 20. So that's still 20 minus 20, just like that. And it's 20 minus 20 is zero. So it's linked. Similarly, 25 can be written as 5 times 5 and minus another 5 times 5. So far, have I done anything wrong? Now, I'm going to factorize. So there's a common factor of 4, so I'm going to take 4 out. So when I multiply what's with what's inside the bracket, I want that. So I want 4 times 5 minus another 5. Next, I'm going to factorize the 5 out, yeah? Bracket. It's 5 times something, so I want 5 times 5 just to give me that. Minus another 5 times 5, so 5 times another 5. So far, so good. Now, I've got 5 minus 5 bracket and 5 minus 5 bracket. I'm going to cancel them out. Okay, divide by 5 minus 5 bracket. So what am I left with? I'm left with 4 is equal to 5 and 4 can be written as 2 plus 2 and that is 5. So 2 plus 2 is equal to 5 and I've proved that to you mathematically. Now there is a problem here. I've done something wrong, clearly, mathematically. I want you to tell me what that mistake is. Algebras, did you get where the problem is? Let me know, write a comment and um, I'm looking forward to your answers. Bye for now.